What is up guys and welcome back here to the Washington State Dynasty here in NSA Basketball 10. We're here today, the number 20 Cougars will take on the number 6 Kansas Jayhawks for the second time this season already. It's been a short season but we're playing Kansas for the second time already. And it should be another good one, we lost to them the first time, they kind of blew us out. But I, I disagree, I think we could have played a little bit better than we did and I think we got a pretty good team. Tyson Crawford, last year he was the National Player of the Year. He's going for the award again as Kansas six at 5-1 and one this season. We sit at 4-3. and three. three losses against some pretty good teams, got to say so. But uh, nonetheless, um, our key to this game will just be stopping Tyson Crawford. If we can stop him, we can stop the momentum. Maybe we'll have, we always have one player step up in our wins, and maybe the same thing will happen today. So here we go. The tip will go, and Rayleigh will not win. But to start this game, we've got the ball. It's Josh Hawkinson working down low and hitting a little fadeaway jumper. We're up 2-0 here early. So, well, now it's Glass driving down the middle. He's going to go put it up and put it in. So, now Johnson will pull up from 3, and he'll come back and transition hit one of his own. So 5-4. to four. Now Eregbu throwing up a 3. That will not go. But Jordan Rayley is on the board, and the senior throws it down. So 7-4 to four is Tyson Crawford trying to make a play. Tough little shot there. Does not fall. Man on the glass blocked, but he's got it again, and he'll throw it up and in. That one is Barber on the play. Now this time it's Crawford in motion. He'll throw it up off the glass this time and throw it in. 12-9, our score, Kansas leads. Now swinging it out, it's Kernish Drew, who finds Hugh Johnson. He's going to go back to Kernish Drew, a great find, and Drew will drill the three as he usually does when he's wide open. So now this time it's Johnson down low using the glass and putting the ball in the bucket. 14-12, Cougars lead. Now this time it's Barber down low hitting a little hook shot. So now it's Holmes with it. He's going to go. Goes back down. This one's Tyson Crawford who will put it in. So it's 18 to 16. Now a steal here by Ike Eregbu. The other way come the Cougars throwing this one up. No good. But it's Q Johnson right down there. And he will throw it in. 18-18. So now this time down low. A swat there. And Hawkinson will not get the double swat. As now here comes Kansas once again. It's 20 to 18. Now this time it's Tyson Crawford. And he'll throw this one up and one. So 22, make it 23 to 18. Now it's Watkins this time. The freshman fades, and he will hit the shot there. Tough little shot there. Still gets it to go nonetheless. So 23 21. Now it's time a jumper, and the Jayhawks make it a four point lead. Watkins again with it, trying to make a play. Finds a man. It's Weathers. Weathers from three, and he drills that one. So 27 to 26 now. Now it's Holland running all the way, just going up, and now he will throw it down as he always tries to make a play by himself, that time doing just that. Now 28-27, they throw it down low, and the bucket will go off the glass. The 29-28, Kansas with it, a little bit slow here, now a tough little running shot, it will luckily fall, so they're up by three. Now it's Watkins again, finding this time Junior Longris. Longris out to Watkins, the deep three, and Watkins hits another three. The freshman has been huge this season from behind the arc. So now this time it's a block by Holland, and now Holland's running the floor, and he will slam it down with just a few seconds left. Kansas has it now. Swing it, tipped. It's Holland again with it. The other way, two seconds, one. The buzzer sounds. He doesn't get it off in time, and he still misses it nonetheless, so... We have the lead right now on the Jayhawks, 33-31. It's been a toughly contested game. Both offenses working at the full capacity right now. Our defense stepping out a few plays there towards the end, giving us a little bit of momentum. We're hitting the three ball pretty well now. The true freshman Watkins has hit a few threes, and Q Johnson's hit a few. And I think even Curtis Drew's hit one, and we're, we're playing pretty good. You know, We could be playing a little bit better. But uh, I, overall, I think we're playing pretty well against a very good Kansas team right now. And if we can continue to play this way, maybe we can pull out a win. But we know that Kansas offense can start in a second, and their defense can lock us down pretty easily. We saw it last time. So here we go. We've got the ball. It's Dexter Kernish Drew trying to make a play. He goes down to Jordan Rayley, who just pulls up this time, and he'll hit it. So it's a four-point lead for us. This time now going to Hawkinson. Hawkinson working one-on-one. -on -one. A little hook shot will fall, so we're up by six now. 37-31, Kansas with it. This time it's Crawford pulling from three as he gets that one to go. He's been huge. He's been most of their offense today. Rayleigh now at the Q Johnson. Johnson, another three, and that one will fall. So we keep this lead at four. Out to Johnson again. He pumps, drives, and he slams it down. What a play by Q Johnson, post-raising the poor man. So now 
Swinging around this time to Rayleigh. Now Rayleigh off the glass. That'll make the lead six for the Cougars. Now this time a tough shot by Ike Rekbu. What a block that time. He elevated. Now Curtis Drew the other way elevates for a dunk. And it's an eight point Washington State lead. Momentum high with the Cougars. A three this time will fall. That was not a three. In fact, it was a deep two. So it's 46-40. Now it's Rayleigh this time turning, not making. But Hawkinson is on the board and he will throw it in. So we keep this lead. Now this time tipped. Saved by Curtis Drew into the hands of Rayleigh. Now Rayleigh will bring it up. He's trying to find a man. Gets it to Curtis Drew. Drew pulls, fires, and it hits. And it's a 10-point lead. Now swing. This time blocked. And they've got the rebound. They'll throw it up and in. So it's an 8-point game. 52 to 44. A shot this time by Crawford. He hits another six point game. And Dexter Kernish Drew throwing it up this time to Q Johnson, who will throw up a three. And it will go again. So it's a nine point game. Now this time it's Crawford. He's got it. He pulls and he fires and he makes. So Crawford has been on fire today. Our one goal to stop him has not worked. But Q Johnson again hits another three. He's been on fire from behind the arc today. He's really been that one grinding sight star on our. I, that really didn't come out well, but he's playing well today. So now this time, finding Curtis Drew, who pulls the deep mid-range shot will fall. We keep this lead at 10 with 5.50 to go. Crawford, he's going to go, finds a man. It's Holmes, fires a deep three, and that one will fall. So it's a seven-point game. We've got the ball, though. It's Watkins. He loves to make plays. He drives. Tough shot, and he gets it to go. The freshman really has shown why he can play. Now Watkins the other way gives it up to Curtis Drew. Drew, he's going to go, gives it to Holland. Holland, the tough little shot, but it will fall. And it's a 13-point lead for the Cougs. Now this time they go down low. They find the man. He'll throw it off glass and in. Now driving once again. This one will not fall this time. Now the other way. Holland, he's running the floor. There goes Holland. He soars and he slams. And it's another big slam for the Cougs. Now down low going to Rayleigh. Looking for a man. Find one. It's Johnson. He's had the hot hand. And he hits again. It's a 16-point lead with 2.40 to go. The Cougars playing well. But a three will fall here from Holmes. Now here comes Tyson Crawford. He throws it up the alley-oop. And that one will go to Barber. So now it's just an 11-point game. We need a big score. And Kansas needs a stop. Johnson. Why not? He hits another three. Q Johnson. Just lethal from behind the arc. As they will get a bucket here from Glass. Now it's just a 12 point game. We're throwing it into Johnson. And they're going to have to foul him. Get it to the hot hand. Send him to the free throw line. Only averaging about 7 points per game. Shooting about 35%. He hasn't really played well at all this season. But contributing huge here today. He's been the big bright spot for this Cougar offense. So now both free throws will fall for Johnson. Making it a 14 point game with 56 seconds. Kansas though can make this happen if they get a few threes to go. Now they've got it on the outside. Nix, he's going to go. Gives this one to Glass. Glass, over. That will not shoot, and that will not fall. Why did I say shoot? But nonetheless, the Cougars pull out a win here at home against number six, Kansas. What a game here today from the Cougars. Q Johnson puts up 26 points out of nowhere. I mean, he just had the hot hand, fed him the ball, and hey, he made the shots today. Hey, that's all you can ask for in a game like this. I mean, that's the only way we're going to win is when we get guys to step up who don't usually step up. And this, I think this season we've had at least three or four different contributors this season at least. I know that Curtis Drew's done it a couple times. Iregu's done it a couple times. But now it's Q Johnson's turn. But now we have to go play Purdue, the number 12 team in the country. It's a tough schedule this season, but I think we can do it. So I'll see you guys in that video. Have a great day, and of course, goodbye.